Hey Sam, so here I am at the Build a Molecule activity when we've asked how to do the creative or be creative part. So part one, part A, part two, part B, part three, part C, and this is where you have to be creative. So I've given you a couple different options. Um, the advice I gave the students was, you know you've made something that actually exists in reality when you get a name. So you can just keep adding things and then eventually if you get a name, you made something that exists in reality. Um, Let's keep adding hydrogens here. Ooh, that's something that exists in reality, and that's something that exists in reality, and that's something that exists in reality. Oh, not yet. That might be something that exists in reality. There we go. So that's propan one all. So what you would do then is you just take a little screen capture of this, and you would insert that in. You'd use propan one all, and then you'd count the number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens to come up with your chemical formula. Um, I'm fairly certain if I change up a couple things, like you don't have to just use carbons and hydrogens, you can use any elements you want, but I think if I just did this, like you're not tied to that, but like here's another one, ooh, hypochlorous acid propyl ester would be another example. So just a, an example of things that you could make, um, but that's what you could do to uh, do the be creative part. I hope that makes sense, take care.